I hope this message finds all of you well. I'm making it the day after the Laker Parade, and I want to take this opportunity to thank every one of you for your participation. The Laker Parade itself was a great event. Hundreds of thousands of people in the city of Los Angeles, controlled by you, Los Angeles Police Department. I appreciate those, especially senior members, who don't normally wear the uniform and work the street. Thank you for working out of your detective assignments and working shoulder to shoulder with the, the men and women that uh, normally populate our black and whites. For those of you that worked the uh, night of the victory celebration of the Lakers, thank you. Very tough time. Unruly crowds, near riot in some situation, and you performed fantastically. I'm very proud of you. Although this was not our first Laker victory celebration, we certainly handled it better than ever before. So thank you. Thank all of you for your patience, your professionalism, and your ability to work together. I also want to talk to you a little bit today about budget. We've completed the city's budget, and the police department did very well in most respects. Unfortunately, we still can't pay overtime. So I ask you to all watch your CTO budgets. I know that that's difficult for you, and I'm working diligently to see when we can change that. But in the meantime, we'll be able to hire to attrition. That means that we'll be able to hire classes, approximately six next year, of roughly 20 to 50 recruits. We'll probably end up hiring a total of about 280 in order to make up for those of you that retire or move on. Very importantly, we were also able to restore 17 of our civilian positions who were lost or due to ERIP. And we've also been able to maintain our specialized unit and be able to replace some of our technology. But I also want to say a special word of thanks to our civilian employees. You have had to put up with furloughs and layoffs, not seen by the sworn members of the department. And I know it's been particularly tough on you. So thank you. Thank you for your enthusiasm. I meet with you not only day to day, but in my vertical staff meetings. And I'm always impressed by your tremendous enthusiasm, your ability to do the job, and how much you mean to this department. So thank you especially to you. And as a matter of fact, by the time you see this message, we will have had a couple of civilian recognition events that I think are very important. So uh, thank you. And also to the sworn members, remember that. Remember that the civilians have had to, to bear the brunt of the reductions of the Los Angeles Police Department. So treat them well. They're our brothers and sisters. Another topic we needed to discuss is behavior. Behavior of officers both on and off duty. Please remember, you are always being scrutinized whether it's by our integrity enforcement details or by cameras of the media and the public. You're always on parade. So please, please be careful what you say, be careful what you do, not only because it's the right thing, but because you represent the Los Angeles Police Department, the greatest law enforcement organization in the world, and you have to represent us well. And for those in the downtown area, either working or traveling through, Please come by the new police administration building. We have a, a new display downstairs. We replaced the vintage motorcycles and police motorcycles with some of our more alternative methods of transportation. I want to thank you for your continued suggestions. Because of your suggestions either made to me in person at uh, vertical staff meetings or via the, uh, the web, uh, we've initiated a couple of uh, changes. The first, we're going to do our award ceremonies for our awards below the Medal of Valor quarterly. That makes these medals more timely and it gives me an ability to, uh, to award more of them. Uh, secondly, due to one of your recommendations, we're going to experiment with a DUI arrest site and release program, which has been done successfully by the Highway Patrol. It won't apply to every instance and every arrest for DUI, but it will apply to some of them, save some of your time and get you back out in the field closer. We're still working with the city attorney on standardizing and making more effective the release from custody program. This is a constant suggestion and one that I am uh, keenly uh, in favor of. So bear with me a while while we work on that. We're also doing a pilot project, as suggested by one of you, where we do not take complained of only traffic accidents. This is going to be piloted out in the, in the valley, and I look forward to expanding it department-wide. One of the suggestions that we weren't able to pull forward on is a written declarations for traffic court appearances. Unfortunately, I was uh, unable to work to a successful solution on this with the, uh, with the presiding judge. But I'll continue to see if we can press this in another way. 
In the near future, we may be closing some area front desks. This has been one of your suggestions, and I think it will save some time and save uh, some officer hours and allow us to deploy more officers into the field. Another thing that I know that many of you are keenly uh, in favor of is the approval of the 1911 model uh, handgun for use by uh, non-SWAT, non-SIS members. I've looked closely at this, and I think we're going to roll out a program in the near future, probably in the fall, where those of you that are able to achieve an expert qualification uh, can carry the 1911 after uh, purchasing the handgun and going through the school. This is a very difficult gun to use and to maintain, so I need to make sure that uh, only the people that have the most enthusiasm for the program will commit to it. In closing, I want to thank you for our time together. I got to talk to hundreds of you at the Laker Parade and almost as many at the Laker uh, Celebration of Victory. Universally, you have all uh, accepted the, uh, the new change in the police department and leadership, and you've been enthusiastic about the way we're going. So thank you very much. Continue with the suggestions. Please talk to me when you see me. Very important to me what you think. Also very important to me that this organization works for you at least as well as it works for me. Thank you.